Hello, everybody. In this um, section, I'm going to cover all the basics of uh, using Jupyter Notebook and also some of the uh, basic uh, functionalities in Python. Uh, so with that, let's get started. So before we get started, I just wanted to say that you can change the name of the of a Jupyter Notebook file. You can see here it says untitled. You can just simply click on it and let's just call it Python Fundamentals. Okay and click enter and here we go the name now has been changed now to run a cell in python um, you can always do shift enter so if i do shift enter it would just keep running cells if you hit the escape button it would select that line and you can select you can hit the keyword d twice d d d twice so the keyword d is in delta twice and it would delete that line of code, okay? Like in this case, it is empty. Now let's just say I wanna create, let's just call it uh, in this um, Jupyter Notebook, we are going to cover the fund some of the, the fundamentals of Python. And you can do a control A selected and then go to here and do a markdown. When you click a markdown and then do shift enter, it would basically embed it into the Jupyter Notebook. And if you wanna give it a title, for example, let's just start with the basic functions. Let's just call it basic uh, functions. You can do control A again. And instead of markdown, let's just do a heading. If you do a heading, click okay and do shift enter, it would basically place that basic function as kind of the, the heading of your file. So you can do a markdown, you can do a heading, or you could do a code. In this case, this is a code right now. So I can start typing in. So to, to, um, to start typing in code, let's just start with the basics. So let's just say I want to do four times four. Here we go, 16. Do 25 times two, 50. Uh, you can also do, you know, four, times four um, plus uh, two times four uh, plus nine times two. So uh, what this does, it's going to first um, do the order of operations. You know, you can see um, four times two is eight plus uh, two times four is um, eight. Uh, so eight plus eight is 16 plus nine times two is 18, so 18 plus 16 is 34. So it just basically did the orders of operation, but you can also add parentheses if you'd like to. So you can say uh, four times two for a, a, a for, for like just for the sake of reading the code easier, you can just say four times two plus eight times seven, for example. And it would do the orders of, it, it would basically, you know, basically take into account the parentheses that you've, uh, that you've uh, added in there. Um, so, so hope this is clear so far. So now let's do, let's just say you want to do something to the power. You can use, uh, the, uh, multiplication side, uh, sign twice and say, let's just say hundred to power of three, uh, uh that, that, that gives you, um, a hundred, uh, or basically a, a million. So, so, so you can also do. Uh, remainder, there is a, um, a percent sign that you can use. So let's just say 13 divided by two, uh, you're gonna have a, a, you're gonna have a remainder of uh, one, right? So you're gonna have six times two is 12 and the remainder for this is gonna be one. Or you could basically say um, 20, uh, what, 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 what is the remainder of 20 divide, you know, like divided by two, which is gonna give you zero. Uh, so you can do these basic functionalities pretty easily in Python. So the most important thing to remember besides the plus and, and the multiplication sign is just if you want to raise it to the power, just use the multiplication uh, twice. So uh, for example, uh, five to the power of two, it's going to be 25. And, and this percent basically is used to get you the remainder, get you the remainder. Um, so if you want to get the um, even or odd numbers, again, this, 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 this function comes pretty handy. So now let's talk about, let's go into 
a little more um, uh, a, a, like a bit uh, more complex level. Let's just say uh, assigning assigning uh, a variable name. And let's just select do a control A and do this as a heading in this case. Hit OK and do a shift enter. Um, and let's just say I have X is equal to 100. I have Y is equal to 200. And I have Z is equal to 300. Make it very simple. Let's just say D uh, is equal to X plus Y uh, plus Z. Okay. Uh, if, if you run this, it's not going to give you the answer, but you have to call in D. But if I call in D now, it's going to be 100 plus 200, 300 plus 300 is 600. So, so you've, got, you've got to call in that variable for it to give it to you. If you don't call it in, it, it will not basically give you, that, uh, give you that column. So now let's create, uh, you know, this is how you assign a variable. Now let's go ahead and create a, um, a, a string. Let's go ahead and say creating a string. I'm gonna do a control A to select it all and do a heading and say, okay, and do shift enter. Okay, so now I'm gonna say, I can create a string. So you can use, you know, a single quote or double quotes to create a string. So let's just say X is equal to um, oil and gas industry, for example. Okay, um, when you hit shift enter um, and call an X, it would spit out oil and gas industry. Now, um, I can also do uh, X is equal to double quote uh, oil and gas industry. Okay. And if I do shift enter, call an X, here we go. It, it spit out the oil and gas industry. Now, uh, you might be asking, why do I use, um, do, like, do I use single quote or double quote? Um, it, it, it's really a, a, a personal preference. But if you're, for example, um, uh, you know, using something like, let's just say y is equal to, um, 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 you know, like, let's just say um, uh, this, uh, this book's competition, book's competition is very challenging, for example. I just made this up on the fly. So let's just say that. Um, now, the issue with a single quote is that if I, if I have a single quote here and here, since I'm using this book's uh, competition, this book's competition, when I added a single quote here, uh, Python uh, you know, uh, thinks that this is the end of the, end of the string. And that's why it, it, it makes it very tricky. So in, the, in, like in, in, in cases like sentences like this, you might want to actually do a double quote. So let's do a double quote. Um, and that would take care of that problem. So if I do a double quote here, that would take care of the problem. So this is one example where you want to use um, um, double quotation as opposed to single quotation. Um, and as I said, when you have a, a, a this, this book's competition, uh, Python recognizes that, oh, you know, this is the end of the line uh, if, 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 if you have a single quote. But for the most part, if you, if you don't have complex sentences, you know, stuff like that, you can use, you can use single quote, okay? So now let's go ahead and, and say, um, let's just go ahead and, and call uh, Y is equal to um, uh, oil and gas, in this case, or underscore gas. Now, if I wanna get the first letter from this, okay, the first letter from this, I can say Y, bracket and I can say indexing in Python starts with zero. So if I want to get the first letter, it means I got to call in zero. So Y bracket zero. Okay, that gave, that gave me O. Um, now, if I want to say, if, if I want to get, for example, um, index five, so if you, here you go. So we got index zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So if I say Y bracket um, uh, five, it's gonna spit out A for me. It's gonna spit out A for me. Uh, you can also do, uh, for example, you wanna 
uh, you know, uh, the, like the first four indexes, for example, in this case, uh, you can do Y, you can do uh, colon, and then do four. It just means you got, um, when, you, when you don't put anything here, it just means you got, you start with zero. So you got uh, zero, one, two, um, um, three, and then it excludes the fourth one. So it excludes the fourth one, just remember that. That's very important. If you want, for example, do Y bracket um, column six, or you can also do zero column six, it would give you uh, the first one, zero, one, two, three, four, uh, five, and it's gonna exclude the six index, the six index, which is S. So that's why you have oil underscore GA instead of gas. Okay, now if you want to call the whole thing, you can say Y bracket, just do column, and it would give you oil underscore gas. You can do that as well. Um, and then uh, if you want to do, for example, um, start with, for example, index two, and then move on uh, to the end, you can also do uh, Y, you can do index two, and then all the way to the end. So it just means it's going to come here, zero, one, two. So it's going to start with uh, L and then it's going to go all the way like to the end if I run this code. So if I run this, so you got L all the way to the end. Um, that that basically what, what this means. And then uh, there's also a, a pretty uh, good um, function in Python. So let's just say Z is equal to the optimum, um, uh, let's just say completions design is, is for example, I'm just gonna make this up 2000 pound per foot. Okay, I'm gonna run this. Um, you can get the length of this, the Z, uh, and it would pop, like Python would give you the number of, um, words in this, in this case, I actually have a space here. If I remove the space and rerun this, uh, here we go. Yeah, 43, that's the length of this. You can also do type, uh, type of Z. And it just gives you, it is a string. It is a string. Uh, let's just call D is equal to, for example, 20. And if I do type of D, it's gonna give you, an, it, it is an integer, it is an integer. And if I say, if I, if I have, for example, R is equal to, 20.2 and then get type of um, R. It's gonna give you a float because it is not an integer. It, it, has, it has decimals. So it's gonna give you, uh, that, that's, that's, that's the meaning of float in Python. So you can use these functions like length type to figure out what kind of um, uh, function you have in Python. Uh, so I'm gonna stop right here. Hope uh, this was useful. Uh, I'm gonna continue on with the next one, uh, but if you like this, uh, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel, the Opter Intelligence. Uh, have a lot of uh, educational videos on um, um, you know, the feature of AI and machine learning, uh, and also on, on Python and, and a lot of the applications uh, for, 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 different, for different applications. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.